let's do an ls again so we have our file here so now we are going to run busco to evaluate this genome assembly that's what we are going to do so i have my inputs data here and i also have the lineage here so i'm um, set the genome mode will specify it so we will now call busco so we say busco i'll say dash m And then I'll say genome, that is the mode. I'll say dash i. I'll specify this file. That's the genome assembly. And then I'll say dash o. I'll specify an output directory. So I'll say c vm. I'm using the same name here. And then this time I'll say underscore busco. That'll be the output directory. And then for the lineage, that will be dash L. And then I will say, I'll use this one. So I'll just do a copy and paste. I don't need to type. I'll just copy and paste it here. So that is the lineage. So that's it. Alternatively, you can create another variable and assign this to it and then use that here. So that's it. So this is how we are going to evaluate this genome assembly so let's execute this command okay busco has started as well so let's wait for everything to get done for us okay busco has completed its work so once it's done you'll find a summary report here so let's take a look at the interpretation let's go back to the user guideline let's check the interpretation section so here just come to this side interpreting the results so click it and then you'll be sent to that section so i'll just look at this paragraph the rest i'll encourage you to read so it says the results are simplified into categories of complete and single copy complete and duplicated fragmented or missing buscos so let's check them out so complete and single copy complete and duplicated all of these are complete buscos okay so they are all labeled as c and then there's a breakdown let's take a look at that so that is what we have here so the c is for complete buscos that is what has been given here and then there's a breakdown that is where the s and d comes in so the s is for complete and single copy d is for complete and duplicated buscos then you also have fragmented which is f and we also have missing buscos and then n that is the total busco group search that is what is here so ideally we should have a higher percentage for complete buscos that lets us know that the genome assembly is good now aside the result summary here there are other outputs you can check let's just check them here let's clear the screen let's do an ls and we are going to find this directory this is what we specified when we run busco let's just do that here that's what we specify here so this contains all the outputs including the summary i repeat this contains all the outputs including the summary that we just saw so let's take a look at what is in this directory so let's say ls and then we specify that directory. And then in it, we are going to find our files there. So we have all these files and all these files here. You can also use your file manager. Let's just use our file manager to check this directory. So this is the output. So when you open it, you'll find the files. And then you can also explore them. So a detailed explanation of all these outputs will not be done in this video, but I'll make other tutorials and then I'll try to explain these things. So we have a short summary here. You can open it. This is the ATST file. We also have a JSON file. And we also have this one here. I'll open this one 
and then here we still have summaries here but i would like us to check this full table here so this has details of the results so you can open it with a spreadsheet software it's a csv file that is tab separated so you can open it with a spreadsheet software any spreadsheet software and that is what i have just done let me just open it again so this is it so here we have the hits so if you take a look at the genome assemblies it's made up of contigs so for each contig if there was a busco hit it will be indicated we have complete busco it tells us the contig on which that it was identified we also have the gen start and end strand etc we also have a link here that you can use if you want to look the busco heads up so you can check for all of them just scroll down and then we see them here so we have all of them here so complete missing so if you want to go deeper then you can check this input file maybe you may want to inspect and then get some more information then you can do that for example if let's say you are interested in certain genes then when you come to this spreadsheet document you can open it and then extract whatever you want but there's a description here you also have some location and scores here you also have length so i mean you can do extra analysis here depending on what you want at the end of the day and so i thought i'll also bring this to your attention so that those who want to go further and inspect this file anyway so that is it for the busco output okay so i am back now what we did was to evaluate the genome assembly for a single sample but you can also have multiple samples maybe you can have like four five six etc and so in that situation trying to view the report summary for each of them can be cumbersome especially if you want to compare and so it is possible to visualize the busco results busco allows you to run a python script to generate a plot which is very useful if you have lots of samples okay so you can generate a plot like what i'm showing and i've covered a tutorial that shows how to do that so just check the description box and you'll find the link to that video i also leave it at the end of this video also if you're dealing with multiple samples then you need to write a batch script to automate the process and so if you have lots of samples maybe 10 20 30 50 or maybe hundreds then you can write a batch script if you have a challenge too you can always contact me book a session and we can go through all this together and then um, get your analysis done so just make sure to do that and so that's where i've been to now I encourage you to check this other video which shows you 